more vehicles, more technology, more infrastructure and social development. These are key areas of undertakings that will continue into the 2020-2021 fiscal year by the Ministry of National Security. With a budget of $93.9 billion, the Ministry will use $78 billion allocated to their current estimates to take care of administrative expenses. The remaining $15.9 billion will be used to carry out major projects. Let's take a closer look at some of the major projects. First is the Security Strengthening Project with a purse of $400 million. Of that amount, 273 will be used to purchase and install equipment. These include management systems for case, jail and station records. Equipment will also be purchased for the Firearm Licensing Authority, interconnection between agencies, as well as connectivity and surveillance at the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Department of Correctional Services. The overall objective of the project is to build capacity to increase the conviction rate for murders. This government is committed to improving not the working conditions of the police force and to providing the police with adequate resources to fight the criminal network. The project is being funded by the Inter-American Development Bank, IDB, and will end in March 2023. Moving on to the Citizen Security and Justice Program, CSJP3. $235 million has been assigned to develop community asset maps, complete renovation on the Gale Multipurpose Center, and provide remedial education and vocational skills training. It will also evaluate the parenting and skill vocational program and conduct a victimization survey. The program is geared at improving governance and behavioral changes in targeted communities through conflict resolution, social inclusion, and increased employment opportunities for residents. The capacity of the Department of Correctional Services will be bolstered with the acquisition of vehicles and infrastructure development. For the 2020-2021 period, the National Security Ministry will continue delivery of the assorted vehicles. With $393 million, the Ministry will also construct and renovate buildings at correctional centers and direct security fencing and cameras. As for the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, the ministry intends to start construction of the Forensic Pathology Suite, complete renovation of 40 police stations, and conclude pre-investment activities for two police divisional headquarters and the police headquarters. This will be carried out at a cost of $2.3 billion. There's value in starting with the police building, because we understand that to create public safety, is maybe the most important thing in settling a community and reassuring the population that they should live where they are, invest where they are, and in fact help to grow the country. Still on the JCF, $1.2 billion will go towards the purchase and installation of CCTV cameras and servers, as well as upgrade to the radio communication network and dispatch systems. The cybersecurity capability of the JCF will also be strengthened with new software and training at a cost of $930 million. More vehicles and bikes are being purchased to increase the mobility of the force. This government took the position to make significant investment in the security services. The Jamaica Defense Force JDF will receive similar capacity building from a capital A budget of $9 billion. Of that amount, $5.8 billion will be used to complete the procurement of aircrafts and equipment for securing Jamaica's borders. Other purchases include assorted military vehicles, cybersecurity software and telecommunications equipment. The Ministry of National Security is using the remaining $1.5 billion to complete office space and barracks, as well as to construct simulation and training centers and a military dog facility. There is significant investment being made in this great institution of the Jamaica Defense Force. We are spending the time, resources, and effort to upgrade your infrastructure, your tools and equipment, your ability to deliver even more. The Ministry of National Security, building capacity to maintain law and order, rehabilitate offenders and enable social development while protecting our borders and cyber networks against internal and external threats. Side doing all of those social dimensions, we have to ensure we have a police force that is organized and resourced and outfitted 
to deal with all aspects of criminal activity.